woman set out to lose 50 pounds, and even though it took her the better part of two decades, she never gave up. Mary T. Prenon, author of I'm Lazy and I Love to Eat, is here to discuss. Mary, thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Of course. So like I said at the top, if you've ever tried to lose weight, you know, it is difficult. Mm -hmm. I mean, and even if it takes you a long time, the point is never to give up. So tell us what motivated you to just keep going at it. Well, I mean, I have a real quick funny story. I, all my life, a yo-yo dieting. Yeah. And I had gone to see a cardiologist because I have AFib, which is like a a heart, a regular heartbeat. Mm -hmm. And the first thing he said to me was, he looked at me and he said, well, you're heavy, but you're not the heaviest person I've ever seen. And I said, this guy just told me I was fat. He oh told boy. me I was fat. <laughs> so that kind of got the ball rolling. And yeah. I said, wow, you know what? I really do need to do something about it. Mm -hmm. So I set out. And that's um, you before. That was, that was me before, 200 plus, around 210, wow. something, you know. And um, yeah. So I set out to try to get myself healthy mm -hmm. um, and get off some of the meds I was on. And I started out by finding the right gym. I yeah. found a small gym that was really welcoming and friendly mm -hmm. and started out moving. And that's what got the ball rolling. Right. I mean, it, it's shocking how much how much different you look. You look wonderful. Oh, thank um, you. And of course, a lot of that, of course, has to do with your diet. Right. Mm -hmm. How did you switch from maybe the junkier type of food to healthier? Because a lot of us struggle with that. A lot of, well, I mean, to be honest with you, having AFib, you have to watch your sodium. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I started doing was when I went to the grocery store, looking and reading food labels. Yeah. And it's amazing that when you look at that and you see the amount of sodium that's in foods and you go, oh my gosh, because the American Heart Association tells us that 1,500 milligrams a day should be what Max. you're eating, mm -hmm. and the average American diet can be three to four thousand. So combining the working out mm -hmm. with watching my sodium and eating healthier, I was able to, you know, finally the light came on. I said, "Okay, I think <laughs> I have something here," you know. And so you're tackling this subject through comedy, like I mentioned. So what can people expect when they open the, this book? They leaf through it. What are they going to get out of it? They are going to see that it's not a traditional "here's how to lose weight" book. First of all, I've been there. I've been overweight, so it's not like I'm a skinny. Um, uh, personal trainer mm. trying to tell people how to do it when they've never been overweight. Mm -hmm. And they're going to find funny stories about throughout my life what has um, set me back. Um, really funny story about being the oldest bridesmaid and not fitting into a dress and almost splitting it. I mean, it, it's, it's funny. You laugh. You can laugh at yourself. You can laugh at me. And I think that's what the difference is. Mm -hmm. It's not a traditional weight loss book. Right. I mean, the, I think you're trying to tell people don't look at it so seriously. You know, it's right. it's not the end if you don't get it done in two weeks or one right, month. Right. You did it in 19 years. Hey. So take your time. <laughs> Better late than never. Right? Better late than never. And so, <laughs> you know, in the last 45 seconds or so, if, if you had to leave people with one thought about reaching their weight loss goals, what would you tell them? I would say, you know, don't stress yourself out. Don't get on the scale every other day. You know, yeah. weigh yourself once a week. And just keep moving. If you do anything, keep moving. You don't have to join a gym. You can just go out for a walk. If you like to ride a bike, swim, just do some type of activity mm -hmm. because that's going to set your mind to a positive place. And then you're going to be more likely to choose the salad over the pizza. Right. I'm looking to lose about 15 pounds and I've been walking every day for about 30 or 45 minutes. It's amazing how quickly it starts to add up. Just yeah. those little things. So great reminder, Mary. Congrats on the book. Thank and thanks you so much so for joining much. me. Thank nice you. Nice to see you. Now, I'm Lazy and I Love to Eat is available now. And for more information, visit LazyLoveToEat.com.